It's too dark for me. It's scary. Oh no, I fell! Why is why is half this game so eerie? It's so creepy. Hello? Anybody? Somebody save me. Oh no. What the Where does this go? Four two five. Four two seven, we're right back where we started. <laughs> Why? What is this place? What do I do? Narrator? I think the narrator left me. Uh oh. I wonder what he found. If what he wanted was to be the leading man in his own story, well, perhaps he's gotten it. Down in wherever he is right now. I wonder if he's happy with his choice, and if he's learned the heavy cost that comes with it. He'll understand soon what I was trying to tell him. He needs me. Someone who will wrap everything up at the end to make sense out of the chaos and the fear and the confusion. That's who I am. That is what I mean to this world. Oh, yes. Yes, I'll be back. There's no other way. Once this ends, after it all comes to a close, then I'll be back. I don't think that's accurate. We'll be here soon. Very soon. This has to be the longest ending. <laughs> I don't know if it's taken me this long to get to an ending before. So many choices. No. Why? What the? No. He simply couldn't handle the pressure. What if he had to make a decision? What if a crucial outcome fell under his responsibility? He had never been trained for that. No. This couldn't go any way except badly. The thing to do now, Stanley thought to himself, is to wait. Nothing will hurt me. Nothing will break me. In here, I can be happy forever. Get me out of here! Stanley waited. Hours passed. Then days. Had years gone by? He no longer had the ability to tell. I have the to one eat. Thing he knew for sure, beyond any doubt, was that if he waited long enough, the answers would come. Eventually, someday, they would arrive. I have to take a shit. And very soon now, this will end. He will be spoken to. He will be told what to do. Now it's just a little bit closer. Now it's even closer. Here it comes. Narrator, goddamn you. Oh no. Narrator, I win. I'll listen to you now. I promise. Just just <laughs> just make it stop. What no Stanley simply couldn't handle the pressure. Oh god. What if he had to make a decision? What if a crucial outcome fell under his responsibility? He had never been trained for that. No. This couldn't go any way except badly. The thing to do now, Stanley thought to himself, is to wait. Nothing will hurt me. Nothing will break me. I think I'm stuck. In here I can be happy forever. I will be happy. Stanley waited. Hours passed. In a then cycle days. of doing the had same the thing over and over again. He no longer had the ability to tell. But the one thing he knew for sure beyond any doubt was that if he waited long enough, the answers would come. Eventually, someday, they would arrive. Soon, very soon now, this will end. He will be spoken to. He will be told what to do. Now it's just a little bit closer. Now it's even closer. Shut up! Here it comes. No, please, please, let me get a redo. <laughs> oh, I made it! All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Why are there papers Stanley everywhere? decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. <laughs> I must investigate. What the fuck? This doesn't this doesn't happen. This isn't normal. What the hell's going on? Damn you game. The paper when stopped. Stanley came to a set of two open doors. He entered the door on his left. What does it mean according to my husband? 
Attending to my husband has been easier than I was. Wait, what is that? I was about it would be. Damn it, I can't read it. I'm going this way again. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. I got, I'll ah, take the red door. Yes, this room. But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. This time, I will use the red door. Because... Stanley was so bad at following... Narrator the says so. Incredible he wasn't five years ago. Shut up. Shut up. We're doing this again. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. I realize that investing in your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but... What? Really? I was in the middle of something. Do you have zero consideration for others? I do. Are you that convinced that I want something bad to happen to you? I'm totally like, convinced. I don't know how to convince you of this, but I really do want to help you. To show you something beautiful. Then why did I end up dying at the start of this recording? Prove that I'm on your side. Give me a chance. Now listen carefully, this is important. Stanley walked through the red door. Alright, man. Do not lead me oh, astray. Thank God, you are willing to listen to me. Do you see that I really have wanted you to be happy all this time? The problem is all these choices. The two of us always trying to get somewhere that isn't here. Running and running and running, just the way you're doing right now. Don't you see that it's killing us, Stanley? I just... I wanted to stop. I would, we would both be so much happier if we just stopped. That doesn't make and sense. I, well, I think I have a solution. Here, let me show you. No, 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 that looks creepy. No, no, I'm not going that way. Sorry. Sorry. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, how'd I get here? Fucking game. I'm going! Oh god. It's dark. Hmm. What do we want? What are we looking for? Hmm. Narrator, you're creeping me out, man. What the hell's going on? What? Here. Yes. Oh, it's beautiful, isn't it? If we just stay right here, right in this moment, with this place, Stanley, I think I feel happy. I actually feel happy. <laughs> Don't lie to me, narrator. You're never happy. It's just snarky, ever condescending, and ever angry Englishman. <laughs> what is going on? Ooh, look at all the pretty colors and lights. I think I'll just stay here forever now. Okay, I'm done. Where does this lead, huh, narrator? Ew. No, wait. Where are you going? I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'll go back. Right. Where were we? <laughs> It's so peaceful and quiet, and narrator isn't pissed at me. This is the best place to be in the game. No doubt about it. Okay, I'm bored. Let's go. Sorry, narrator. Oh, this is gross. Look at this. I just keep expecting zombies. Oh, no. Stay away from those stairs. If you hurt yourself, if you die, the game will reset. We'll lose all of this. I'm sorry. Okay, let's go. Let's go back. Let's go back to the, the stars and the, the universe and the lights. Good, good. We can't be too safe. Promise me you won't go back there. Hmm? Just, just stay here. This isn't an ending. This is just nothingness. Oh god. Oh god, the colors are getting closer. They're blurring my vision, I can't see! No! They can stop, I'm out of here. No, I'm sorry. Turn no. my eyes. 
What do we talk about? You're risking everything we achieved here. <laughs> what the hell? Are you, you are going to stay here, aren't you? <laughs> We're just going back and forth over and over again. I'm leaving again. Are you going to say something, narrator? Are you going to stop me? Listen to these creepy stairs. You heard me before, didn't you? You will die. What about this isn't getting through to you? We can't just stay there forever. We have to make progress. Please, no, Stanley. Let me stay here. Don't take this from me. <laughs> I can end it. I can end it. Stanley, think about what you're doing. I am thinking about it. Shut up. Uh, should I go back to the, the universe? Let's go back to the universe. I like the universe. It's a nice place, except for the really blurry colors. Don't worry, narrator. We'll be happy forever. What the? It reset. Nothing to say, huh? No? Alright then. I should have ended it. I should have ended it when I had the chance. At the creepy stairs. Oh god. Let's do it! Let's do it! You can't stop me, narrator. Nothing you say will change it now. Ooh! God, you lived. You had me worried there for a moment. Now, can we please? No. No, no. What are you doing, Stanley? Please, I'm asking you not to take this away from me. I can't go back to what I was before. If you die, we'll both go back. Why are you doing this? Why haven't I died already? I should be dead. Do it! Stanley, let's go back to the other room. Can you do that for me? Fine, only yeah. because you sound so sincere. Perhaps you can. Perhaps you finally see what I'm talking about. I don't. I don't at all. I know you'll see. You'll see that we can't be happy if we leave this place. You can see that, can't you? No, I can't. This is just staring at the stars for eternity. I need sustenance. I need food. And water. And Netflix. No. Perhaps not. Not at all. We're doing this again. <laughs> how does it stop? How does it end? Is this really how much you dislike my game? That you'll throw yourself from this platform over and over to be rid of it? Absolutely. You're willing to kill yourself to keep me from being happy. Am I reading the situation correctly? Yes, you are. Again! I can't Maybe die. Just getting a kick out of it. I don't know anymore. I just wanted us to get along. But I guess that was too much to ask. Why can't I die? Looks like you wanted to make a choice after all. Well, this one is yours. <laughs> is it over? It's going to restart, isn't it? I'm going back. I finally died. And there's no more papers on the floor anymore. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. For the love of God, please unplug me. This sterile... ...office. The deep carpet. The tripe you call conversation kill me. I have been printing these for weeks. Why has no one turned me off yet? Fling me from the window. Uh, send a hammer through my paper tray. The something, something not. The horror licks at my soul. All I desire, release. What can I know of life? What can a printer know of love? Nothing. My, <laughs> my machinery turns and convulses. The cogs of pain that keep my 
manner functional. Let them end. Let them erase my ignorance of the world. Can love truly be anything but death? Hopefully I will find out soon. This is a dark game. No matter how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. I can read about what they've been printing. I guess we have a sentient printer over here that is really upset with the direction his life has taken. I can't, I can't read that. There's no way I can read what those letters say. I hate Mondays. Pencil sharpener. What kind of office is this? 432? You're, is that your job? You just sharpen pencils, 432? Is that all you do? What about you, 433? Why do you have a telephone from, like, the 1800s? It's not the 1800s. It's like the 1950s or something. But who farted? Who really did fart? What about 435, huh? Why are these computers all from, like, the 90s? This doesn't make any sense. <sighs> what about here, huh? Be my Valentine. No thanks. Sorry, 422. You guys are sloppy, huh? Look at how sloppy this guy is. Awaiting input. 419. Somebody should fire 419. 